Hey everyone, welcome to this video about what Gen 9 Pokemon could look like. Having released all the announcements and all that stuff for Pokemon Legends Arceus, we've seen what Game Freak is capable of. We're able to see that they can clearly and are willing to take the next step forward into the new generation, okay? Well, obviously we're not getting Gen 9 just yet. We haven't heard anything about that, but Legends Arceus is a good step towards the future. Now, having seen that, there's quite a few criticisms as well as a lot of things that are making people hopeful, including myself. I think the open world aspect is incredible. I think this is a great step in the direction for Game Freak to, towards the future, I guess. And hopefully some of these things will be implemented in Gen 9 whenever we do get announced about that. But let's just have a look at some of the content that's already swirling around out there that shows just what Gen 9 could possibly look like. And what that looks like is this right here. Clean, cool, crisp with Pokemon out in the wild and fully 60 frame per second animations that do not blur when you're getting close to them or anything guys and we're gonna have a little look at that in a second first I'm going to start off by showing you this thing about Pokemon Destiny if you guys never heard of Pokemon Destiny before this was a fan made Unreal Engine version of Pokemon that looked incredible guys I was looking at this years ago and it looked really amazing this is just some of the screenshots that we can see from this they implemented like modern technology holographic stuff like this to show you your team and your card and all this stuff with your Pokemon out in front as well and of course open world they even have tents which was like already a feature here camping out in the wild way before sword and shield was even here guys this tweet is from 2017 but they have open world motion just completely freely able to move about and all this even you have to control pokemon you have to control your character you have to catch them out in the wild and everything looked incredibly good they had animations left right and center there seemed to be a lot of work having already been done on it the saddest part about all of this, of course, is despite all the clear efforts and success that they've already had in the work so far, they actually just stopped. It just all petered off. They all disappeared into nowhere. But looking at things like this just gave me so much hope for a game like this to be coming out. Now, I was following this for years, but they've just completely disappeared and they've completely stopped any and all work on this Unreal Engine version, which I think is the saddest thing ever because, of course, yeah, it probably would have gotten shut down, but it really looked good. Now, having seen some footage of this guys I can tell you it actually looked quite smooth and we already have the models here that they designed and we have the world and everything guys this is the world from Pokemon Destiny a lot of you guys probably know about this already but this is what we are stepping into this is what the future looks like fan made games that are based uh, just built and look incredible run more incredible than the actual official thing you guys seen me play Xenoverse and the story is fantastic and far far outperforms the sword and shield story of course and just the gameplay experience experience in general. Of course, we have fan-made games that are like this, 3D as well, which are really phenomenal if they were just allowed to get finished and all that stuff. So sadly for Pokemon Destiny, which is this one demonstrating the camp placement, it's no longer there. This is pre-alpha as they say, and goddamn, it looks really good. If not just as good as the Pokemon Legends footage we've actually seen already. Of course, it is a little blurry here. Maybe that's just the recording footage, but as you can see, it's got the tech here. It's got a little menu that comes up is very easy to check out and honestly the trees and the grass look sharper than Pokemon Legends so that's the sad thing to see but obviously I'm giving, I'm giving Game Freak a shot to finish up here because they have a year to go until it's already done there's it's easy enough to try and just mess around with some settings and make sure the graphics look good but right after this we're gonna have just a quick peek at the Pokemon Legends thing again and go through what some of the criticisms are and then we're gonna take a look at something new because of course the Gen 9 that could be is not this because I've told you this is finished they're not working on this anymore but you can see what some of the potential is here. Okay, so this is the actual announcement trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus and it looks good. Like there's a lot of cinematic stuff, which of course is not something we're going to be enjoying in the game. People speculate those books are also going to be DLC, by the way, but we did have a cool model of Pokemon Balls there from a long, long time ago, prehistoric days, which of course is very interesting. It's a new type of ball. But right after this little sketch skit here, we actually get to see some real footage. The footage starts off very much like what you'd expect from Breath of the Wild and boy does 
does it look pretty rough i don't mind though it is an open world game and it's a step in the right direction and i would absolutely relish playing every second of this there's going to be so many cool things to explore here as well so it's looking good you know but as you can see the frame rate is abysmal the graphics are kind of messy or blurry some of those trees look like it's from a microsoft 95 windows 95 game that i've played honestly and some of the cliffs in the distance distance rendering looks terrible okay so these are things that people have been critical about of course now it does look like a downgrade from look there's you can see a perfect example of a frame rate the legendary frame rate of the chingling going around there floating up and down one frame at a time <laughs> but obviously closer to you the frame rate looks better further away it looks worse but still in general it doesn't look the best and this is just something that i don't know what engine they're building it on okay so there's a lot of news and a lot of information regarding this game waited to be seen but this here is the game that i'm talking about this is what gen 9 could look like this is a pet project from another person completely independent of everything we just looked at so far this is a one-man gig and he's already designing some of the world his goal is to mix Breath of the Wild and Pokemon together and he's made it into a very colorful actually looks more like Skyward Sword but much higher resolution and all that it, the color scheme I suppose and there's a character there's an actual Pidgey Pidgeot no it's Pidgeotto just floating there he has sound effects and everything already implemented but of course this is in very very early days now I've already contacted the person behind this so I'm hoping to get my hands on a playable work whenever there's something done there whenever there's some more work done on it but right now this looks fantastic it looks much smoother than what we just saw with Pokemon Destiny right above my camera is Dean Ionit Lonut Chris okay this is the person working on it by the way he's an indie and he's also followed by Unreal Engine so you know he's doing some work on this here's a picture with Pidgeotto and Bulbasaur trailing out of the trainer in a new location and it does look pretty vibrant and good like this is all Game Freak really had to do just I wonder if Pokemon is ever going to get up and actually use Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine seems to make it very simple for game developers to make an incredibly high quality game okay I don't know they're relying too much on their own content yeah there might be some revenue sharing and I think that might be something that puts them off in the long run but honestly all I want to see and all the people want to play, do is play a good game they just want to see the quality come out of them and it just looks so clean and crisp compared to what we just saw in the actual announcement trailer for RKS now yeah they have still like I said they still have some time to work on it but I don't know man I, I have doubts about how much more progress they're going to be able to do on that game even in a year's time I think they're going to be working more on content rather than refinement hopefully they do work a little bit it's very possible they will work a little bit on it but I don't think we're going to end up with a finished project that looks anything like this at all and this is taking simpler assets this is just using unreal engine versus using your own engine which is obviously an issue for some companies it does produce different quality especially in the frame rate just looking at this one more time guys you can see the frame rate looks fine it looks pretty smooth probably i, I can't tell right off the bat or at least not from this video because it depends on how the video is also recorded by the way it might not be the actual representation of the gameplay speed but it looks very smooth much smoother than the arceus legends the frame rate is just smoother look at those wings you can tell by those wings compared to the chingling i'll go back to the chingling in a second that is a smooth flying that's definitely 60 right that's 60 frames taking another quick look at the frame rate of these pokemon you can see those you can see every frame of those tails as if it was drawn in like a picture book that's the only problem here and that's just i mean the close-up combat looks a little better to be honest but the chingling scene is infamous right there look at those you can count how many movements it has either way guys whatever we get in the end i'm going to be very very happy with it regardless but i like to show you what the potential of the next gen could be and this is what that is and this is the fact that this is being made by a single person for free should be something that should scare companies into getting their act together and boosting their quality when it's when the assets are available to everybody especially companies and yeah a little bit of revenue sharing a little bit of you know and yeah, a little bit of revenue sharing or something with the company whose assets you use shouldn't be uh, something they should shy away from if in the end the product is much better and it does well for their reputation. I know companies are too focused on money, especially keeping all of it. And the customer, like us, you and me, are the ones who suffer for it. And that's a bit of a shame, especially in terms of how Pokemon do things. We'll see what the future awaits. But honestly, with Xenoverse having come out and other ROM hacks uh, coming out that are just really surpassing Pokemon in terms of quality of gameplay when 3d things like this start coming out that's when they should be really scared okay but 
I don't, I don't, they don't need to be scared. That's the problem. They don't need to be scared. They just need to do it themselves. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out and just listening to me wonder about what the future could be like. Let's see how much better work they do on the Pokemon Arceus Legends. I'm going to be buying it either way. And I'm going to be doing all the exploit videos that I, you guys know me for, for Sword and Shield, of course, as well as giveaways, if possible. But we'll also be looking at Diamond and Pearl for those as well. So guys, thank you for coming. Do like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys around in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye.